we're going to cover some terminology because I want to make sure that we're all on the same page. I don't know the tech background that you've had. I'm not sure where we're all coming to this class from. So I just want to cover some basics uh, so that we can move forward from here and all have a common understanding. There's going to be talk about the Google Suite. That is a collection of applications that we can use to do things. There is Gmail. That is for communication through email. There is, let's say, Google Docs, and that's for word processing. You're able to create documents, be it letters or reports, things like that. We have Google Slides, which is a presentation application. There's Google Sheets, and that is a spreadsheet application. There's also Google Sites, and that's for web design. Of course, we have Google Drive, and that deals with storage and organization. All of these different applications, they all fall under what we call the Google Suite. It's this collection of Google applications that can work together, that have common visuals and common features. They can interact together and you can do a lot of stuff by playing up the different strengths of these applications. Just remembered Google Drawing. And that is for basic photos creating. I grew up before Google took over the world. So these terms don't always come really easily to me. I can struggle because what I grew up with was Microsoft Office. You may be familiar with Microsoft products as well. So if I call something using the Microsoft name. I mean the Google equivalent because we are a Google school and so our whole class is focused on the Google suite. Anyway, Google has their suite, Microsoft has their office, and so there are similar applications that Microsoft produces which you may end up using that if you get a job in business businesses may use Microsoft instead of Google. I think that isn't a big deal, being that I started on Microsoft Office and moved to Google Suite. I haven't struggled that much, because what I would say is once you know how a word processing application works, you have a good understanding of its abilities and capability. So then if you have an idea or you're looking for something, the challenge that you're going to face is just finding out where that button or action is stored in the menu. Microsoft has Outlook. They also have Hotmail. Those are communication tools. These are alternatives to Gmail. Microsoft has Word, and Microsoft Word is word processing. Microsoft has PowerPoint, which is a presentations application. Microsoft has Excel, which is a spreadsheet. At one point, Microsoft had Front Page, which was for web design. I started out making websites on that, I think. That has fallen by the side and is no longer a product that Microsoft works to keep up. Of course, going on YouTube, you might get examples for like Squarespace or other sites or other companies that are working at web, making web design easy. Uh, Microsoft has their cloud, what is it? The Cloud 365 or something. Anyway, that's for their storage. I think there's like a drive too. I think it's OneDrive is what Microsoft calls it. My point is 
there are a lot of similarities between these two different companies and their grouping of software. We have communication applications. We have word processing applications. There are presentation applications. There are spreadsheet applications. There's web design applications. There's storage applications. If you know how to use slides, you're going to do really well if you're thrown into a situation where you have to use PowerPoint. Or if you know how to work with Excel, you're going to do pretty good at figuring out sheets. There are similarities, and so please excuse me if I draw a blank, because we have, you know, this slides, sheets, sites, these words. They haven't been ingrained into my brain over years of school. I default to using the terms Word and PowerPoint and Excel. If I do that, please excuse me. I'm going to let you see this chart so that you know what I'm talking about, when no doubt I will make a mistake in talking.